So it, we're probably going to go for uh, Air Ferdin first here. Once this completes and we can uh, we can start spending our piety, mostly because we want to cut the prince off from Dyfed. Again, we want to lower his opportunities, and he does have one advantage being the actual proper uh, duke. He can potentially convince these people to join him. Oh, they took this, which is not unusual. This I'm used to, this I'm not. That puts our position slightly better off because this will make him weaker. He will also though have a better opportunity to convince him to join him through peace because since he's the actual Duke, he can convince these people to become his vassals in the uh, non-warlike way, which means we're gonna need to execute this war right away. Do our sanctioned loopholes that we're going to contact the uh, the righteous authorities of the Catholic Church with our long dissertation on why it is that uh, that Prince Howell's branch of the family tree has failed in their duty of maintaining proper rulership in Wales, and why that means that we should begin the process of consolidating the territory ourselves. Just going to declare war on him right away go we're going to raise all here and we're only going to invite one of our two allies we're going to invite uh, the prince of Gwynedd thank you and we're going to come up this way with our troops he may try to break around in order to attack us in our home territory if he does we will be ready for that I want to keep my troops sort of in a position where if we have to block him from trying to get a siege on us we can do so our ally seems to be going right in for the siege which is good i do prefer to control the sieges myself though because uh, if i move my troops my ally may mistakenly believe that i need his help if i engage in a battle and he may leave the siege partially finished which will just make the war take longer. Also, staying out and going in here will make it impossible for him to raise troops, and it will also mean that uh, we won't starve as badly, like he's already starving a little bit down there, which is not great. And this, our first move to consolidate the territory that we believe is rightfully ours because of our dynasty, and because it was in the possession of our great ancestor, has begun. The war, Southern Wales, is underway. We are trying to isolate him from Devud because uh, Devud being isolated from him means they're less likely to negotiate an alliance, which we do not want. I mean, it, we definitely do not want them to negotiate an alliance. And the siege is about to be complete right as our marriage takes place. We definitely need the money more than the prestige, although this feels more generous and I'm not bankrupt. This actually feels more generous, so we're going to take the prestige. There we go. Enforce our demands. And immediately send our marshal to enforce our new rulership and disband the army. That's pretty good. It's begun. Hopefully the isolation of Devud from Morganug will prevent them from coming to some kind of agreement or alliance. And Prince Howell will probably end up trying to have a peaceful, reor peaceful like consolidation with Gwent, and I don't think there's going to be much we can do about that. And we are eventually going to have to decide whether or not we... Uh, this is my brother's wife trying to seduce me. Uh, I would have zero interest in this being chased and recently married. But I'm also not sure I would understand immediately what she was trying to do. I don't think it would occur to me. I'm too focused on the books and coming up with all of my legal pleadings in order to validate my conquest in Wales to worry too much about the uh, the machinations of some woman who wants to, I suppose, sleep with me. It's not really, it's not really one of his main concerns. The fact he shares that trait with his wife and that she's shy 
is probably pretty comforting to him. He already has an heir, a son, and, you know, he's not planning for his son's death. Being generous, though, I think he would try to develop the closest and most uh, uh, beneficial to both parties relationship he could with his wife. Maybe after we have learned Italian, I will, I will romance her so that we can become soulmates. I don't think I would mind him having a few more kids. And the romance will increase very slightly that that happens, considering that they are both disinclined towards uh, sexual activity. Okay, so let's see. You want me to help you fight against... Oh, I don't... I mean, I think I have to. I don't have any traits that imply I would just not do this. But I don't think this is a war that any of us want or could win. Uh, is he like... Is he trying to take it all? No, he's just trying to take most of it. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. I'm gonna have to move my, uh, my flag here to here, and I'm gonna have to raise all. Uh, hopefully you got some money, friend, for, for some mercenaries or something, because this is not a war we can win. Like, even close, my friend. This is going to be bad. If it's a holy war, maybe somebody will join in? I mean, I'm not a coward, so I'm not going to avoid my duty. I'm also not going to lead it myself. I think putting my, uh, is it my steward? Yeah, my steward in charge is probably the best bet. This is, this is not the greatest. But I mean, it could, it could work in my favor. I, I have no logical claim to any part of Wales, except those portions which were once in the control of God. We're, we're done. Um, this is, oh, he's trying to escape, but it's too late. I wish I knew he was going to try to escape because I would have tried to escape when he did. Yick. One of our knights has been wounded. One of our knights was maimed. Oh no. Oh no, so many red bars. Red bars? Uh, uh, oh, what a horrible loss. Uh, this guy, this is, uh, this guy, this guy is King Connell and he is our chancellor and he's in prison. Oh uh, yeah, that's great. This is a lost cause, my friend. You are expecting me to fight a lost cause. I don't have, uh, I guess, the new knight. No, no, I don't have a decent chancellor at all. This knight will have to do. It's not great, though. I really don't feel good about any of this. I honestly don't see how... I don't, I honestly don't see how, uh... How there's anything we can really do about this. That is actually not good for me in multiple ways, because it does weaken my strongest ally. As suspected, he did take Gwent... He's not happy with me, but at least he's not hating me yet. He probably will be when I take Devad. There's no point in even raising my my armies. I don't think this war is going to last that long. Although, I would say this. It would be smart if our uh, Viking invaders were to, uh, to split off and break that siege, but uh, I'm not, I'm not going to assess their tactics for them, you know? I don't need 50 gold. I also don't have 50 gold to spend, but I don't care about giving a weak hook to my own bishop. It's, it's usually... I don't think. What's our relationship? I mean, we have a pretty decent relationship. A small favor isn't going to be that, that big a deal. Got our scholar, which is good. So as soon as we can, we're going to switch over to stewardship. So this war has went terribly. It's went terribly for everyone involved, except for those uh, Norse invaders. It's went pretty good for them. I, uh, I don't, I think this is a mistake. Let me think about this. I'm generous, so I'm probably not gonna call her out on it. I'm definitely not gonna do it, obviously. I'm also not gonna tell no one else that they can seduce me during that time. I, I don't think that, I don't like this choice from an RP standpoint because I don't understand how we would make it happen. But we're going to go with how sweet, but no, because we don't, you know, it would be definitely the opposite of generosity to, uh, 
to put her in jail because she made a, a mistake of love by trying to seduce a man who has no interest in that. And I also don't feel like the crime of attempting to seduce me is enough to, uh, to make trouble in my brother's life by revealing that his wife is, uh, his wife that I selected for him is out here, uh, <laughs> chasing after some kingly tail. Wait, that's not how that works. That's, that word, we, that word isn't usually applied to men, is it? Ah, oh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh yeah, he's done. I, he's done. Just, just click it, man. Just, just click it. Just, tick, tick, tick. You already won. One of the most interesting and difficult situations in this game to handle mentally is when you're sitting here with a 100% score waiting for the AI to realize it. Like, if I get a 100% score, you know I'm clicking that at the speed of literal light. Like, I'm defying the laws of physics all over the place. But the AI's all like, ah, you know, I'm gonna wait like five years to click the 100%. I... I just don't see it. This is not good. That's a thing. It's this guy. It's this guy who did it. It's you. You interfering. You don't usually interfere. Um, was thinking that at some point we could take Leon and uh, hand it over to my brother, but uh, not with this kind of of <laughs> Norse uh, pressure up here. I don't know that that's a good idea. Fluid intake sensitivity. Of late, my joints have ached so. There has been a certain bruising, inflammation, at the very least, a gathering of water, waters about the mi mobile parts of my limbs that causes me no little suffering. I have only the hope that it will subside given time and rest. Ugh. All right. It's not great. But we have to continue on with our plans. David? It's going to be next. At which point I think that we will have done a pretty good job of starting this process of creating what will one day be the, the kingdom of the channel. Definitely with Yved in our possession, we will be able to make better moves. We can change this now. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to save that XP for later. We will probably return to learning later in life anyway to get some of the whole body stuff so you know just to make us as healthy as possible in our old age we'll learn about medical ailments that might overcome us this should give us the ability to hold four domains which is perfect for taking divid we're just going to come straight down here to centralization and head up though i don't think i'm going to go all the way to architect unless i come back to it after my return to knowledge and the slightly higher Stewardship should help us with, uh, with training our son. We're still trying to work out Italian so that we can have a better relationship with the Popes. And let's just do this now. We can now buy a claim. And we will go to war with him. We have no mercy in our hearts for these pretenders who control the lands that were once held long ago by our ancestors. We have no mercy for them at all. They... They need to be driven out. At all costs. No second thoughts. Do I even need assistance in this? I don't think I even need assistance in this. So I'm not going to call for assistance until I see some evidence that it's necessary to do so. And we have learned Italian. All right. So my next plan was to see if it's possible to romance my wife. Not seduce because that feels icky, but just become her soulmate. You know, establish that this is a actually mutual relationship. I am going to write her a love poem. She won't resist my charms for long. I don't think she will. We had a really strong chance of winning, of succeeding, so. Since it's even, which does not feel right at all. Our knights performed pretty well in that one. That's good. 
His ally is going to probably come in and make an attack on us. Maybe they'll join up together and attack at once. Part of me thinks that I should try to prevent that from happening. We're going to actually try to prevent that from happening. So that we can start this battle. Ooh, that's going to be really, really, really close. I think we're going to try to, uh, to not eat. And, of course, we failed in eight. Our knights are performing very well, and it's basically the only thing keeping us in this fight. But it did keep us in the fight. And now we're in a little trouble. So let's, let's change our mind about our ally. And we're going to bring in our ally from Alba. Hopefully he gets down here fast enough to actually, you know, make a difference. Oh, my brother died. Wow, this has actually not gone that well. We're actually having some severe trouble here. We may literally have bit off more than we can chew. We probably should have called our ally in. But I really thought I could handle it myself. Wow, I, I can't believe my brother died this early. I, I had plans for him. I, I was going to do stuff. Uh, I mean, my plans, they have cost a life and an important one. Uh, I can't believe these masons are interfering with a man who's trying to grieve. Masons! There's really not much I can do about this. I'm going to do striking the deal myself. I I'm honestly floored by the fact that my brother is dead so early in one of my least significant wars. It's, uh... It's kind of a big change, really. We're going to have to look to his son, my nephew, who we haven't even looked at and, uh, for all you guys know, doesn't even exist. Good job, me. Good job. That is not the expected outcome, but it is a, uh, <laughs> it's a comforting one. I don't know where they went. Uh, but this siege needs to happen. Uh, my army is in shambles. We're actually short a night. You know, I've been going back and forth on whether or not I should be reading these, reading some and not reading others. I'm going to start committing to reading more of these. So, Romance the Grey One. Sweet Lady Nest, I sigh as I kneel before her. My only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love to you? Petty Queen Nest hesitates, and her cheeks turn red. By God, I hope she's pleased and not embarrassed. Slay a wolf for me and bring me its pelt. Then we may continue this conversation. Uh, she wants me to slay a wolf. I am no wolf slayer. That's a that's a for sure. I think we'll bribe a hunter just to make up for the last one where we must it up. I'm gonna need to go to here, and we're gonna Let's change to disciplinarian. In that, that's interesting. We're gonna seek a worthy successor. That should also help with our night problems. Ah. Oh. Things are not going that well. I will say that. Things are not going that well. It's a hard world. <laughs> my brother is dead. Pretty sure my brother would still be alive if I had called my allies in instead of trying to do this all myself. <sighs> we are not in good straits at all. Any prisoners that we can ransom? No, nobody can be ransomed. Uh, we can search them for knights after the war is over. Let's just uh, speed this up just a little bit. This is our new knight. He is okay. <laughs> He's okay. Let's just get this war done with a little speed up. Like I said, the only time I speed it up is when I'm waiting for a siege to end a lady's honor by god petty queen nest is an insufferable hag have you seen how she averts her eyes ridiculous my spy master baron ichtharion throws his head back with a wicked laugh nest is still conversing with her friends but i can tell she hurt him i hate to see her hurt you know, I don't really like this guy. I haven't liked this guy from the beginning. I I know he's the father of my bro dead brother's wife, but geez. I'm not going to fight him. I'm bad at that. 
but I will try to force him to apologize. All right. So things have gone really badly. Our desire to control this territory and create the kingdom of the channel, the true kingdom of Cornwall, has went extremely badly. It, it has cost us the life of our brother. It's greatly harmed the strength of our troops. And to be frank, we... I think we might be putting a break on that for a little while. I don't think we're going to be... I don't think we're we're going to be interfering with our uh, our distant cousins here. I, I just... I think it's time to rest from war for a little. I think it's time to... to look to a slightly more peaceful future. Now that he switched over to stewardship, developing the territory might be the best thing to do. We can start saving our prestige to get some donations from from the Pope, some some tax relief because of, uh, of the work we've been doing for Christianity in the region. We do have something of a decent sized little petty kingdom now, you know? It is very bad that Gwened has lost so much of its territory. After that, they have recovered to such a small, small army that they're no longer really useful to us as a as an ally, in fact, we're probably more useful to them as an ally. Hasten is actually starting to get pretty old. He has two sons, so his territory is probably going to split a little bit. I just don't know. There are opportunities here, but there's also, there's also danger, especially with the death of my brother. We're going to have to seriously think about what this means to us. There he is. So this is our former... This is our former chancellor. He is imprisoned. He is married to... our giantess here. We're gonna pay a ransom... for him. We want him back. And we're willing to spend 10 gold for it. As for... Mail Marie, we're going to... I think, if I'm correct, we're going to make her our seneschal because we need we need the extra control to get these two control these two areas under our control better so we're going to appoint her now it's going to cost us some money that we really can't ex can't afford but we don't really have a choice i think we owe them that at least since it was our warmongering that got him in prison and she is the best candidate for Seneschal, so she can begin the process of helping our marshal to uh, solidify our power in southern Wales. Let's just unpause. We should actually be on three. We we're only on four because we wanted to end the siege. Uh, he's accepted the money. That's good. And we are about to finish romancing our wife and making her our soulmate, hopefully. Here we go. Ah, uh, my pet. Intruder. Every time I close my eyes, I see Petty Queen Nest's face. Sleep will not come. I cannot wait another moment. Cloaked in shadows, I make my way to the garden outside her living quarters. The sight of Nest's chamber window makes my heart stutter. So close and yet so far. But wait, who is that? Climbing up the tower, the shady figure stops by Nest's window and unlatches the shutters because every romance has to end in a dramatic attack by a stranger. At least in CK3. Ah, my pet is in danger. I must save her. I will never let you get into harm's way again. We have saved her from a thief. In fact, that's not true. She has saved herself from a thief, which seems more likely. If we look at us, we can see that I am pathetic in combat, and she is... She's, she's terrible. I am more terrible. Neither one of us is uh, exactly fighting ready, but that's fine because we don't need to be. We don't need to be. Hopefully soon we can get a donation from the church to help us out. We can check that out here. Pope Victor is very close 
to being willing to give us gold. We do not have 250 piety though, which is going to be a problem. We're going to have to get that from some place. We honestly don't know where. So this count here, Renaud, has asked us to join his grand tournament. Where is he? He's in Rouen, which actually isn't that far away. Though we really have no... We have no people there. What kind of grand tournament is this going to be? Going to be a recital? I mean, we might actually do okay on a recital. It's going to be a long time before our uh, troops get back up too. Let's see how expensive this is going to be. This wh Whether we go to this is really going to depend on the cost. So we need a caravan master because our last caravan master died. He was one of our knights and he died in the battle as well. So we'll, we'll appoint Rodwald. Oh, oh, there's another thing we have to do too. We we have really no danger getting to there. It's all by sea. Four. Yeah, we're going to do it. But before we go, we need to deal with our prisoners. Prisoners are here under courtiers. This guy is not good for anything. Uh, so we're just going to let him go. Uh, this guy is a decent warrior. He can make up for some of our sevens, so we're going to negotiate his release and recruit him. He's pretty high, so he'll probably still be okay with us afterwards, which is good. And this guy is okay as a warrior, better as a commander. We could make use of another commander. He's Anglo-Saxon. That's, that's not the greatest. You know, I am going to recruit him too. Hopefully he comes to realize how generous we've been in time. That should put our knights back up to where we need them to be. My fellow attendee, Count Renard, is hosting a grand tournament. Competition in the vicinity of Avernoche. And time has come for us to depart. We shall represent the House Cernu and make the Cornish people proud. Hopefully the rest of Avernoche won't be as rotten as Count Renard. But we should still be wary of what goes on when in the lion's den. I don't know why we don't like this French guy that much. I... I... I guess... I guess bigotry. It's probably bigotry. The Cernu are going to make the Cornish people proud indeed. So we are going to West Francia. Watch your step now. Uh, my wife is in charge. Because my wife is in charge, we are temporarily unable to maintain our domain limit. Because of course, I only have an 11, I think, when I'm by myself. Yep. We're not good enough at this to make it worthwhile. I and mean, 60% is okay. But no. Let's avoid the dangers and just keep on target. And with that, I think we're going to put an end to this episode. We're, we're not going to not gonna continue past here. We'll do the Grand Tournament as the beginning of the next part. I want to keep these episodes under 30 minutes instead of over 30 minutes as much as possible. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like. And I love the comments. I got so many good comments on the first part. It was really, really nice. Lots of people had lots of things to say, and I was interested in all of them. Suggestions are definitely, definitely... Uh, worthwhile. Uh, I did mention in the comments that I don't project too far into the future, but if you make a suggestion, it gets into my brain. And then when I decide in the future, I'm more likely to do the thing because that's how it works. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.